I've been wanting to zhuzh up my bathroom and I figured why not share this process with you. for so many hours at this point. It's like 1.30 right now and I got up at 4.45 and I started working. Now I know that sounds crazy, but I recently reopened my 12 week yoga inspired self discovery program, the yoga inspired life, and I'm just fired up. And so I was like excited to get on my computer and start working this morning. And I also had some podcast episodes for the Yoga Inspired Life podcast to edit. And I just woke up ready to go, but it's been close to nine hours now that I've been in my workflow and I hit my limit. I can't sit at my computer anymore. I can't look at a computer screen anymore. I can't type anymore. I'm feeling like, ugh in my body and we gotta like change things up. So I made myself a little matcha and I just took the dogs out for a walk. I even let them play at the park, although it is so cold out today. It's really cold. We've been blessed with beautiful warm-ish for New York City winter weather here. Things took a turn today. It's very cold. It's like in the 20s today. So I just feel like the rest of the day is meant to be spent inside. And I feel like it's meant to be spent with you. I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but I've been wanting to zhuzh up my bathroom. And I figured why not share this process with you? It's hard to believe, but I moved to New York City nine months ago. I can't believe I've been here for that long. The time has flown by. I guess what they say is true. Time flies when you're having fun. And I have truly enjoyed every single moment here. I'm so glad I moved to New York City. Best decision I ever made. I'm so happy here. But this video is not about that. Since I've been living here for nine months, things have gotten a little, mm, you know, as they do. <laughs> gave no context. You know, when you're living in a space for a while, things can get a little messy, they can get a little disorganized, they can get a little cluttered, and spring is right around the corner, and I've just been feeling the urge to reorganize. So I decided I wanna do a little reorganization series with you so you can reorganize my New York City apartment with me. We're gonna go room by room and prepare for spring and prepare for another year in New York City. The first room that I really wanna start with is my bathroom because honestly, decorating my bathroom, there was very little effort put into it. I picked some art, I got some towels at Brooklinen, and I called it a day. <laughs> So I'd like to do a little some something to that room. Kind of funny that I could live somewhere for nine months and still be decorating, but I am. I know that you guys are waiting for a New York City apartment tour and that is on the way, but I'm gonna do it after I do this because I wanna get things in like tip top shape and we're gonna start with the bathroom. I'm gonna show you where we're starting from, but I'm gonna warn you now. Because I've known that I'm gonna do this bathroom reorganization slash redecorating situation, I've kind of just let my bathroom become a hot mess because I'm like, well, I'll just take care of it when I do the thing. So I'm warning you now, it is very messy and it is not my typical style. If you know me, you know I like things in their place, organized, aesthetic, yada yada. My bathroom is not that right now. So don't use the state that the bathroom is in now to judge me because it's not a good representation of who I am, okay? Just wanna like make sure we're on the same page. Also, before we get this started, subscribe if you're new, please. Let's make this official. If you like organizing or if you're into New York City or if you're into healthy lifestyle things, I wanna make this official because that's pretty much all I'm about. And I love making new friends. Now that we've got that out of the way, let me show you the bathroom as it currently is. Penny, what are you doing in here? <laughs> out of all the places she could sleep, she's sleeping in the bathroom. My love, what are you doing? Oh, my sweet girl. She's so sleepy. <laughs> it's almost her birthday at the end of this month. She's turning nine years old. Out of all the places she could sleep, she's just like, I'm gonna lay in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, the bathroom's a mess. I originally planned to just keep the bathroom really simple and just put like art here, there, and like call it a day. And I had this little rolling bathroom cart from my last apartment that I still like, like in here. I'm just thinking that, I don't know if I wanna keep that in here and put shelves up instead and then use this for my computer and stuff and like tuck it behind the mirror in my living room or what's happening. But we just, we need to like, something needs to change in here. I do love how I have my beauty products like color coordinated, although we need to go through and reorganize, but there's some products that I'm not using right now that I would just like to remove from my cabinet and just keep the stuff that I'm currently cycling through right now just to eliminate 
some clutter. There's also like this whole pile of stuff that just doesn't have a place. I don't know where to put it, yada, yada, yada. I think I could make a better use of the space down there. Maybe put my towels somewhere else. I'd also like to get new towels, but we can do that a different day. I feel like this also could be much better organized, so. Oh, hi, we got another visitor. Hello, Bali. <laughs> I did order some shelves. A couple of weeks ago, I ordered shelves from Target. It was too wide. <laughs> so I, re I haven't returned that yet. I need to return that. I ordered some shelves on Amazon that I think will be better. I have no idea if this is gonna be the proper size or not, but we're gonna check and find out together. There's three of them in here, okay. Oh, they're pretty short. I really just wanted some that are like the ones that I have in my kitchen, but white, but that's okay. And then I also ordered some more bamboo organizers, some of which I think we'll use in the kitchen when we get to that point in the organizing process, not in this video, but we are gonna eventually reorganize my kitchen too, which honestly needs quite a bit of help. But I got some of these bamboo organizers, maybe for some drawers in the kitchen, and then might also use some of these in my medicine cabinet, but we'll see. I think for right now, we should probably start with deciding if we're gonna hang the shelves up so I can figure out where everything will go. And then I think I'll just like take everything down slash out, clean everything. Yeah, I don't know. This is gonna be a big project, I can already feel it. And I know I said I've already worked a full day today and this sounds like a lot of work, but for me, cleaning and organizing is incredibly therapeutic. And there's this element of manifestation in it because you're creating space, you're tidying up, you're taking care of your space. And I'm just all about that vibe right now. I have a lot of big things that I'm trying to call in to my life in 2023. And we need things right and tight and orderly. And we need a little bit of space so that I can call in all this goodness. So I'm really feeling this. I think I'm gonna put on like a podcast and just get down to business. They're not perfect, but they are up. These are like a quarter of an inch off, which is really frustrating, but they are up. <laughs> and I think that because it is such a slight difference, it should be okay. They're not like too far off, but hanging floating shelves is always so stressful. I'm not gonna lie. But I do think I like them up there. I mean, I'm gonna have to like them up there because they're up there. Whoa, that is so dusty. Now I need to decide if we're gonna keep the cart or not. I think I wanna do these glass jars with bamboo lids up here. I think that that looks really nice. And I wanna put, I wanna fill up that third jar with this Epsom salt because this is something that I use frequently. I do think I'm gonna take the cart out. And under here, I have this little thing with hair stuff in it, which obviously we're gonna reorganize that in a moment, but I've been keeping my towels down here, but I think I'm gonna move these because I actually have an extra one of these baskets that I've just been keeping in my closet with literally nothing in it. Maybe we'll do these two baskets down here like this instead. I think that that looks a lot nicer. I'm just gonna have to figure out some other way of storing my towels. I can't say that I have a method to my madness because I really don't, but my thought process is to figure out the storage situation. So the shelves, if I'm gonna use baskets, et cetera, et cetera. And then I can start the reorganizing process because I'll know what I am working with as far as space goes, if that makes sense. I'm thinking instead of storing my towels down there, I'm gonna store them in my like little laundry area. I think it'll just look nicer. We have to clean all of that out anyway. Not today, but on another day. 
But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Oh boy, I've reached that point in the organizing process where I'm like, why, why am I doing this again? I've made a bigger mess. I think I'm gonna take a break from this because I don't know what to do on top. I do kind of like this situation happening, but I think the next step is actually to clean and organize my medicine cabinet. Headway, I feel like I have slightly. Like this looks pretty nice, but I don't know. <laughs> I have sort of cleaned out this drawer, but it's really not ready to be shown yet because there's still more to do. What I think I'm gonna do right now is reorganize my shower caddy. I have some products that I want to kind of like switch around. I went to a Vegamore influencer event last night and they gifted us their new hydrate line. The founder of Vegamore was there speaking and they also had a dermatologist and a couple of other experts talking about the line and hair care, etc. And I feel like I need to rethink a few of the products that I have in my shower. So I wanna put this new hair care in here and just kind of reorganize this a little bit and switch out my products. I'm not gonna throw anything away, but I just wanna shift a few things around a little bit. I think... It's looking very pink and cute, I'm not gonna lie. It's a few days later, I needed to order some things for the bathroom, first and foremost. I am very big on storing things in aesthetic glass jars slash if it's in an ugly bottle, putting it in a cute bottle. And what I mean by that is I have some rubbing alcohol that I like to keep on hand, but it's in this giant plastic bottle. There's not very much alcohol left in it and it's just taking up too much space. So I ordered these little glass spray bottles with white sprays because I think that'll be cute. Came in like a little pack of three. So we have some extra. And then I also was originally thinking I was going to put the extra toilet paper rolls in the little basket underneath my pullout drawer, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do instead. I got this toilet paper storage thingamajig. So we're going to do this instead. A couple more things that I'm still waiting for. So I'm going to continue this vlog <laughs> till that stuff comes. But for now, we're gonna put our TP in here instead. I don't know which side I'm gonna keep it on, but for now, we'll just keep it over there. I am gonna give you a full bathroom tour once this is all finished, but I have my hair clips and stuff down here, and then my curling iron and blow dryer and other stuff down here. And I think that that is a much better use of that space. See, this bottle is not cute. We don't, don't need to keep this bottle. Just like taking up so much room. Also, don't look too close to like my hands, okay? I self-tanned last night and I didn't do a great job on my hands as per usual. Much cuter, okay? That is much cuter. Great. Didn't do too much styling of this, I don't think. I think you pretty much saw everything I did. Although I had this glass that is actually, I think like a toothbrush holder, but I was gonna use it for juices, but I just never do because I'm like worried about getting the seagrass like wet and messing it up. So I thought this was kind of cute. I just put my little rose quartz facial roller in there. Have it up here because it kind of ties in the bamboo lids up there. And then I want to put a little vase over here. So I ordered a couple of options. This one is the same as the one that I have on my coffee table, which I really like. It's just a little bit smaller version, little ceramic vase. Oh, these are really cute too. I also saw these, let me pull them out. It's like white with ribbed markings on it, so cute. When it comes to decorating, I'm very much the type that needs to like try things out and see how I feel about it. I like to like live with things a little bit. That doesn't seem big enough actually. Cause we need something that's bigger than this cup to kind of balance it out. I almost think like the big size that I have in my living room would be better. That looks pretty cute actually. 
kind of like that one. I definitely don't think the smaller ones because, yeah, I don't think so. I'll use these for something else. That, I think, is too much the same shape as that. I'm into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live with it. Now, I'm warning you now. The way this is set up could change, but for right now, I have my fragrances and my body brush and like the body products that I use frequently on the bottom. And I have my face cloths, Q-tips and cotton pads. And then the top is really just for decor. So I have, you know, the little base. I have my Santal room spray and my other little facial roller. And I guess my goal for this is to make it aesthetic, but then also make it functional and have the things out that I use frequently slash things I want to do more frequently, like dry body brush and such. That is the update for now. Once the other couple things that I ordered come, we can finish off this bathroom project. I'm feeling very good about it though, so far. Really love the little shelves. I've been living with it for the last few days and it feels so good. The next order of business is I got a new makeup bag because this one is just honestly gigantic and there's no way to organize all my stuff in there. This one is super cute. It has a little space for my makeup brushes down here, which I like. This top part, you can like pull this thing around the bottom like this. And it's just a little bit smaller and there's little pockets on the side and it's I feel like having a little bit smaller bag will make it easier for me so I don't feel like I've lost everything in just a Mary Poppins bag. It's just like an abyss of things in here. I can't find anything. I'm always like digging around in there. So want to organize my makeup products in this new cute little makeup bag. And then I got these two little bags, which I think will be great to use for travel as well. But I also love the idea of organizing things in that little pullout drawer in my bathroom in cute little bags. So just kind of keep them all in one place. I hate when I open up a drawer and everything is just like littered everywhere. It makes me feel anxious. <laughs> So I think having things in little bags will look a lot nicer when I open up the drawer and I'm like, okay, no, XYZ is in here or this thing is in here and I'm not like digging around in a big pile of stuff. Once again, like this. I did order a couple more things that are not integral parts of organizing slash decor of the bathroom and they haven't come yet. So I don't know when they're gonna come because it looks like they're delayed. So I figured we would just do this today and then I'll show you like in a future vlog when those things come. I'm also gonna wipe all of my makeup products down. So we're just really truly starting fresh here. With you i was really unsure about these shelves at first but i am completely obsessed with them now i feel like it just makes me happy it looks pretty the aesthetics are just on point i'm obsessed on the bottom shelf i have my perfume my dry body brush cute little aesthetic hair oil my favorite body oil from osea and then this versed retinol body lotion that honestly just kind of went with the vibe and is too tall to fit in my medicine cabinet and i thought it looked cute out there then as you know i have my little glass jars with bamboo lids with cotton pads q-tips and then these are actually compostable facial towels i just have them rolled up in the jar so random but when my skin was breaking out i realized that sometimes i'll use the towel that i dry my body off with on my body and then on my face and then i thought maybe i was transferring like I don't know, oil to my face or something. And so I will use these after I wash my face just to make sure that there is absolutely nothing that's not supposed to be going on my skin, going on my skin and irritating my skin. The top shelf you already know because we just did it yesterday, but it's just more for decor purposes. I really wanted to put this underneath my 
drawer that pulls out on the bottom, but it doesn't quite fit. I still might. I don't know how sanitary this is to keep this on the back of my toilet. I guess it is since it's completely closed and this is like a, almost has like a plasticky feel to it. So it's not, it's not material where weird stuff can seep through and it does kind of like stick. You know, like the material is almost kind of like pleather on this. So for now, I think I'll leave that there, but who knows, that could change. And then no more rolling cart over here. We have my little TP storage holder thing. I honestly did like the little rolling cart that I had there and I still have it. I have it tucked away. So perhaps I'll bring it back out at some point if I need or want to use it. But without that cart there, I just think the bathroom looks so much bigger and less junky. All the stuff on that cart just looks really junky. Am I crazy? Maybe. That's what we're working with now. On the sink, we've got my aesthetic hand soap and lotion, which I love this scent, vetiver from Byredo. It smells amazing. And then my facial steamer and water pick, which honestly normally would love to not have that on my counter, but it really doesn't fit anywhere else. So we're just gonna go with it and it looks fine. I love a blank counter. I just think it looks nice and clean. I hate tons of stuff piled up everywhere. It's just a personal preference. If I had it my way, I would just have my lotion and hand soap up there, but we're letting them hang out for the time being. The medicine cabinet. My favorite thing to do as of recently is to organize everything by color. It is just so aesthetically pleasing. It makes me so happy every single time I look in here. It's just so pretty. In my little drawer here, which is so nice and organized now, I have some products that are too tall to fit in my medicine cabinet. Sunscreen, bug spray, hair spray type stuff down here. Then I have my little bag in here with like my eyebrow dyeing kit, some extra little makeup poofs, toothbrush, charger, that kind of stuff. Washcloths folded up and then I have two little jars in here, one with Epsom salt and then the other with some feminine products in it. And then I have some empty space, which we love. I also have my favorite body butter in here. I love this stuff and I use it frequently. It's just really heavy and I kind of worry about putting it up on my shelf. So I'm storing it in here. Down here, I'm still a little unsure about this area if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. In here, I have my curling iron and blow dryer flat iron. And then on this side, I put all of my hair items in. So like all my claw clips, headband, my little heatless hair hack curler. And I do like these back baskets down here. I just don't know about, feel like leaving this blank space is such a waste of space, but maybe it's not. Maybe it looks nice and we'll just leave it. And then the last bit is just my shower. I have all my products organized semi by color. Just have the stuff that I'm using slash rotating between in here. And I love this shower caddy. This is from Simple Human and it is linked below. Other than that, like I said, there are a few more things that I ordered that have not come in yet. Like towels, a new bathroom rug. I also ordered this fun little over the tub rack because I love taking baths, but that stuff hasn't come in yet. So I'll have to show you in a future vlog. Very happy with how it came out. I am excited to do the rest of my apartment. I'm thinking that I should tackle the kitchen next. That's like the next major problem area. <laughs> but comment below and let me know what room you think I should do next. I feel like the closet in my bedroom should be last just because I'm not ready to transition my clothes over yet because it's still technically winter here. So maybe that's something that I can do closer to spring, you know, when it gets a little bit warmer. But yeah, comment below and let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love you and I will see you in my next video.